In this week's Sunday Spotlight, it's been exactly one year since that controversial verdict in the George Zimmerman trial found not guilty of murder after the killing of Trayvon Martin. One of the key witnesses in that trial was Rachel Jantel, a close friend of Trayvon Martin who was on the phone with him right before he was shot. Her testimony made her a target of ridicule, but now she has turned her life around thanks to hard work and some good Samaritans. ABC's Matt Gutman has the story. Are you unable to read that at all? It was the moment that made Rachel Jantel a household name. Can you read any of the words on it? The moment the 19-year-old was outed as illiterate on national TV. I don't understand. Um... There's this point where he basically asks you to read the letter. And what do you say? I'm not able to read it. Why was that? I didn't learn how to read cursive bringing her rough dialect to an all-white jury, argumentative and defiant. You listening? You can go? No. And all but embodying the racial rift the trial seemed to dig in this country. The ridicule was instant and merciless. I think she comes across as brutally ignorant. Including this picture posted on Instagram by defense attorney Don West's own daughter. It reads, we beat stupidity celebration cones. I'm leaving today. Nope. You could argue that part of her died on the stand in the murder trial of George Zimmerman, accused of shooting 17-year-old Trayvon Martin. You could also argue that she was reborn. What did that feel like? You didn't know me to judge me. You didn't know you to judge you? Yes. And it was during a break in testimony that Rod Vereen, a Miami attorney, decided to act. I didn't like what took place in social media and the attacks that she received. Uh, nationwide and I couldn't turn my back to that and I couldn't turn a blind eye to the problems that and I knew she had. He coached her that night and hasn't stopped, helping to set up a support group that he would call the village. Jantel was born premature. English was not her first language at home and reading never came easily. In some of the articles that I've seen, it said that you had, at the time of this trial, uh, a fourth grade reading level. Yeah. I want to go find help. But no one helped until Vereen's army of tutors descended for up to seven hours a day, and they were tough. Very, very, very tough. That's what I needed, to be honest. That's what I needed. Jontel was sent to a new school, and last month, yep, that's her, in those heels and that smile. Oh my gosh, like that morning. <laughs> I had kissed my bed. <laughs> I was like, thank you, Jesus. This is the last time waking up at this time. Like, I really woke up, like, from the first time since I started going to this school. The so called illiterate girl walking in her own high school graduation. Where do you see yourself five years from now? Following my dream. Following your dreams. And graduate college. But all of them agree it'll take a village. For this week, Matt Gutman, ABC News, Miami. And we look forward to that day. Great story. We all send with some welcome news. The Pentagon reported no deaths of service members in Afghanistan this week. That's all for us today. Thanks for sharing part of your Sunday with us. Check out World News with David Muir tonight, and I'll see you tomorrow on GMA.